Greetings to one and all. Welcome to my channel Knowledge Share to Delete Ignorance. This channel is created to share the knowledge of known ideas to the unknown society. Today in this channel we will be discussing about PLDC Top Speed Characteristics. Kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for future notifications in this channel. Also, if you find that this video will be useful to someone, kindly share this video. And now, let's go into today's topic, VLDC Top Speed Characteristics. The overview of presentation is, we will be discussing about the top speed characteristics of the VLDC mission. So in the main uh, things what we are going to discuss in the top speed characteristics is so as you all know that earlier in earlier sessions we have derived the expression for torque. Now we will be discussing about the uh, in detail about what uh, the different uh, permissible regions of operation of the torque speed characteristics as well as the maximum permissible uh, uh, torque line and about the maximum permissible voltage line and what is the maximum permissible speed line and all those things we will be discussing. And also we will be discussing about the uh, continuous limit, intermittent limit and also what is the, uh, mm, that is what is the impact of well angle uh, on the top speed characteristics of the VLDC machine. So this is what uh, the overview of the entire presentation and now let us go into the discussion of topics one by one. And now, so uh, we have this uh, top speed characteristics has been already plotted earlier in, in the earlier session and you, are, uh, you can see that uh, the torque speed characteristics will be all parallel with respect to each other for different voltage level and you can see that this uh, is, uh, this is uh, for V0 and this is for V1 and this is for V2 and this is for V3 and V0 will be greater than V1 and V1 will be greater than V2 and so as the voltage reduces this torque speed characteristics is also getting shifted for, shifted to the lower end and here uh, the, uh, this uh, shows the family of uh, top speed characteristics for various constant uh, supply voltages and this supply voltages can be varied by varying the PWM pulse given to the PLDC machine. So by adjusting the PWM uh, that is the pulse width modulation by using the pulse width modulation technique you can change the voltage input to the BLDC drive and by which you can shift the speed torque characteristics in this fashion. So this omega m not represents the no load speed. So uh, first we will be discussing about the permissible region. So what do you mean by permissible region uh, uh, of the operation. So here you can see that uh, that is we have, uh, this is a normal uh, speed torque characteristics of the BLDC machine and here you can see that uh, there is a line which is drawn over here and it is called as continuous and uh, the, uh, it has been represented as AB and here this is being represented as BC and this CD and like this it is there. So we, here we are going to discuss about what is the importance of this line AB, BC, CD and all those things. So this is what we are going to discuss. So before that, uh, as you all know that the BLDC is having some constraints. So what are the different constraints? There are three different constraints. There is first one is uh, the continuous current should not exceed the permissible current limit. So if you have a, a, any BLDC machine there will be a permissible current limit and your continuous current should never exceed the permissible current limit. So this is the first constraint that is uh, for any BLDC machine. And from this we will, uh, we, we have to understand that the torque also should not exceed KT into IN. So because uh, KT is nothing but the, that is uh, torque constant that into IN, so it is not because IN is nothing but the maximum current, so it should not exceed the maximal uh, per permissible current and by which uh, torque also should not exceed KT into IN. And also the second constraint is it should not exceed the maximum permissible supply voltage. So this is again the second one. So uh, the, this is the second one. So if, if it is getting exceeded then there will be an insulation failure and your uh, machine will get worn out at very fast rate. So and because of which your machine should not be operated above the maximum permissible supply voltage. And the third one is the machine should not run 
above the rated speed that is maximum speed limit so these are the three different constraints and based on this uh, constraint uh, the lines has been plotted so here the line ab so here we are going to discuss about three different lines that is line ab and line fg oh sorry uh, this is uh, there is line fg okay so this is the line fg and the third one is line dh so this is the line dh so these are the things which we are going to discuss and let us now uh, uh, describe about line ab so what is line ab so line ab you can see that it is parallel to x axis and it represents the maximum permissible torque line which corresponds to the maximum permissible current that is in so this uh, line ab represents the maximum permissible torque of any bldc machine so that's what you want to understand and now uh, the second one is the line fg so as you all know that the line fg is nothing but it represents the torque speed characteristics corresponding to the maximum permissible voltage so you cannot increase the voltage beyond this level so this is the maximum permissible voltage of any bldc machine so this is what is uh, uh, that is the maximum per beyond this if you uh, increase the uh, voltage then there will be an insulation failure and because of which we should never increase the voltage beyond the maximum permissible voltage and here the points b and c uh, B and C are the points in FG. So where B is nothing but uh, the B is the point of intersection between A, B and FG. We can see that uh, B is nothing but the intersection of uh, the point between the A, B line. AB. So because so this is the continuous torque expression. So here uh, and this is the uh, it, 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 it should not go beyond this. So this is uh, uh, limiting it. So even though the maximum voltage is line is from FG, it should not go beyond B, and also it should not go beyond C. So uh, the third one, the third constraint is a line DH. So what does this uh, line DH represents? It represents the maximum permissible speed line. So it represents the maximum permissible speed line, and also it is constant. So if you if you go beyond this line DH, then your BLDC will lose its uh, that is mechanical by the mechanical vibrations will be very high and because of which your BLDC may get into damage so because of which we have to always limit your speed below this line DH so this is what uh, this characteristics is all about so uh, from this you can understand that uh, that is there is a region there is a region which is called as that is a b c d a so this region is called as the operating region so you have to always operate your bldc in this region only so the, the this represents the maximum torque region and this line represents the maximum voltage region and this line represents the maximum speed region so you should never go beyond this region if you are going beyond this region then your bldc will be damaged or worn out so and because of which you always show this is called as the operating region of the bldc machine and and uh, also so now we will be discussing about what is called as continuous uh, limit and intermittent limit and what is uh, called as dual angle so here uh, suppose if the phase resistance is very small and uh, it should be uh, uh, efficient design only in case of very uh, good efficient uh, design the phase resistance will be very very small then the characteristics will be similar to that of the DC shunt machine that is the main thing you want to understand the speed is essentially controlled by only the voltage you can, in case of BLDC the main advantage is the only parameter which is going to uh, which is going to adjust the speed is only the voltage which is going to adjust and you may change uh, the speed by by changing the supply voltage so this is the main thing you want to understand so also the current drawn to, uh, is uh, also will be proportionately increased and also the torque also will be increased so this is what you want to understand when you increase the voltage as the load torque is increased the speed will be dropping so this is the main important thing which you have observed in the earlier speed torque characteristics so when the load torque is getting increased the speed will be uh, dropping and the drop is directly proportional to the phase uh, that is uh, phase resistance and the torque okay. so this is uh, that is the voltage drop is proportional to the phase resistance and the torque so if the torque is high 
then the uh, draw, that is uh, your uh, drop also will be high. Similarly, you also want to reduce your phase resistance in order to reduce the voltage drop across each and every binding. So, this is a very, very important criterion you want to follow. And the voltage is uh, usually controlled by topping or PWM technique in case of BLDC mission. So, this gives rise to a family of top speed characteristics as shown will be later and also the boundary there are, there are two different boundaries one for continuous and intermittent limit uh, limits. So, the continuous limit is determined by the heat transfer and temperature rise whereas intermittent limit is determined by the maximum ratings of the semiconductor drives. So, in practice the top speed characteristics deviates from the ideal and because, uh, because of the effects of uh, inductance and parasitic uh, influences. Also, the speed range can be exp extended by increasing the dual conduction period relative to the rotor position. So, this is a very, very important concept by increasing the dwell, you can increase the that is uh, you can increase the speed range. So, this is another one important thing you want to understand. So, uh, so I hope I have given you a brief overview of uh, the top speed characteristics uh, of uh, the BLDC machine. I really thank you for your patient listening and I hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, if you find this video very useful uh, kindly give a thumbs up for this uh, video and as well uh, uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, uh, press the bell icon for uh, the future videos which I post in this channel and uh, I thank you all for your uh, support uh, to this channel. Thank you very much. Thank you for your uh, time. Thank you.